What's up researchers, the guru here, back with another Mendeley video. This time the guru will be showing you how to customize Mendeley to your local language or to any language of preference. If you're a first time visitor to my channel, then welcome to you. You are special and remember not to leave this page until you click on that red subscribe button. Don't worry, it will not cost you a thing, but instead you'll be joining a family of research gurus. Remember also to click on the bell icon to get an alert when I upload new content. Okay, let's get to it. What are the tools that I'll be using in this uh, demonstration? I'll be using Mendeley and then I'll be using my Microsoft Word. Okay, in my Mendeley, I'll be focusing on uh, these two citations, right? This one with three authors and then that one with so many authors. These are the two that I'll be working with. Okay. So basically, you realize that uh, uh, you might be interested in writing your site or cite, cite your work uh, and your references in your local language, right? Maybe you're writing a document in Spanish, right? And then you want to also to cite in Spanish. So you can customize Mendeley to do that. Let's say you are writing in French and then you want to customize your citations and your references to use French. So you can uh, customize Mendeley to do that okay so this is what we are going to be doing today right so this option is available under the uh, view right and then if you go on citation style you click on more styles right another window will appear on this window we are rushing right to the bottom where it says citation and bibliography language okay and at the moment it's set at default and default now uh, is the language that uh, Mendeley has already said that whenever you install is going to automatically use uh, the default language which is English and the combination of, of others why am I saying combination I'll explain in just a bit okay so on this drop down you have an option to select a whole lot of your uh, other languages uh, and if you are a Persian you can select Persia and then your citations will uh, be up upgraded if you use Russia uh, you can select Russia and then to be upgraded if you use Slovenian you can change and then it will be updated okay so currently it's at default so these are the things that I want you to take note of okay I want you to take note of how the citation and the reference is like and then when you change the language you see that there's something that will be introduced that was not already in there okay so we're gonna go to citations and then we change to let's use what let's use Chinese Chinese Taiwan okay click OK right. you see that we start seeing symbols for Taiwanese there okay Chinese Taiwanese you can see those symbols that are coming in there okay um, if we change to another language let's see let's use uh, Africans right it will change but I don't really see the difference okay let's try another one oh yeah I see there's a difference there's a en being introduced and an en being introduced uh, I would like to assume that that en stands for end okay so for these two others is Andrew and uh, Hranbeck so the en stands standing for end right um, let's go back to default and see what happens to that en right there is now an end okay um yeah so so this this is what uh this option does it allows you to have uh the the language of choice let me look for french F french france okay. done uh you see the end in um french is et okay et uh et right but there's something else that i want to show you something of interest i'm going to change my citation to harvard right so harvard uh summarizes these uh, all these authors into it out if there are many um and then i'm gonna uh, use the original language that i had which is the default right default um you see that we have got it r okay um for, for 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 that one this one doesn't 
right and if we change our language here to say um chinese taiwan let's see what happens to it out right it out is now written like that so that symbol stands for it out that symbol stands for it out and if you're chinese you would know you would concur with me that stands for it out and if you um uh, from say india uh Okay, let me do Indonesian. If you are Indonesian, uh, you uh, okay. It still uses et al, which is good. Um, if you um French, let's try French. Let's see. Mm, French France. Let's see. It still uses et al. Uh, and if you um I say Greek, let's see what happens. Right, so this is this this is the et al for, for, for Greek, right? And if I change my style um, to say Chicago manual, right? okay, uh, it's still doing the same. Let me use uh, I triple E, okay, it's still have that et al is like that. Let me use uh, Model Language Association, still the same. Let me use um, one can I use uh, Chicago manual right so this one does not have it out so it writes in full uh, like that all right so this is this is this is where uh, language comes comes into the picture and if you have it in Chinese um, and if you cite in your word document let's see what happens Chinese Taiwan right and then you go to your word document and then you insert your reference if you want to learn how to insert references just check on my other videos um, on my channel I've got quite a number of um, uh, videos that I have done on Mendeley uh, broken down into smaller chunks or smaller topics it will be able to help you on how to do that okay so my language is Chinese and you can see that it's writing like that so that's more like my et al okay and if i go into my mendeley and say i want to to change my language right and make it um, my default language uh, which is um, english okay and if i go to my mendeley and refresh all my citations in there they'll be updated to use the new language that i've changed which is uh, english right so it uses it out okay but in chinese it had that sign so that sign was standing for um it out so it out just means it alias right alias meaning and others right so you'll be saying jennings my wilson and others all right so that it out is is latin uh but then you might want it to be in in your language uh that's the purpose of that language uh in some other things as well uh in your in your reference um, all right, so if you have it as default, it will write everything uh, in English. But if you change your language to say, I, I wanted to use Chinese, right? Um, you see that it will also uh, update your references to your references and citations to include uh, Chinese. Okay, uh, so you can see that there are some Chinese signs here. Uh, Chinese sign there. Okay, cool. Now, thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for being with me up to the end of this video. Like I said, if you're a first time visitor to my channel, uh, please subscribe, uh, click on the bell icon so that you may be notified every time I load the new content. If you're part of the family, thank you for tuning in once again. Remember to share and like and comment this content um, and share with your friends. Thank you. See you in the next video. Thank you.